Okay, back to this. So, generator's running, we're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and turn all these off. Everything off. Slide. Generator up. Transfer breaker up. Now, both lines, line one and line two, have power. We're good. The reason I say to turn the battery charger off for a few moments, I have that same exact battery charger in my boat. What'll happen is, if you don't let it go through a complete shutdown and reset, it'll reset before it actually turns off and it throws the computer on the battery charger off and it won't put out the proper voltage when it comes back on. Mm -hmm. And you get back to the boat and all your batteries are dead. So let it shut down and then um, give it like 30 seconds and then you can turn it back on. So we're good now. We'll run everything today. And you want to do this nice and slow. You want to load the generator up one thing at a time. There you see, your thermostat's going to kick on right there. Let the compressor come on. There it is. And then anything else that you want to run. Fridges. And then you can come over here to the 12 volt side, which you can do the 12 volt side before or after this. It doesn't matter. What's the bottom one on the left? Spare. Spare, spare yeah. Okay, so Probably not hooked up. Take me a while to focus. Yep. Um, and then on the other side, we've got interior outlets. Yep. So you can do lights. Fresh water pump, head pump, cabin fridge, cockpit fridge, stereo system. Do you have a seat keeper on this? No. no, you don't. Okay. But that's if there was. And then right here is your 12 volt toggle. So right now it's showing you voltage on the house battery. Then you can toggle it to starboard. Then you can toggle it to port. And now the voltmeter is off. It's just the voltmeter. It's just showing you status. So. If some of this stuff isn't working one day when you come to the boat after two or three years because it's brand new, or the generator won't start, or the uh, port engine won't start, you go right here. Oh, hey, my port, my port voltage is at 10 volts. No wonder my motor's not starting. Time for a new battery. Okay. Right. And then, any, is there an issue like? And there are three separate things: port, starboard, house. Yep. And those are your battery banks. And you just leave one of them on, leave it to one of them. It's not a big no, no, no. Yeah, it's just a status. That's all it is. Yeah, okay. and then you, this is your water level, water okay. tank that'll go down as you use How's fresh that? water. Okay, that's fresh water, nothing to do with the toilet. It does well to use the toilet. Yeah, your fresh water pump does need to be on. That's how it flushes. Okay. So it'll flush, but it won't fill the bowl with water. So you got to make sure that pumps on, which is right here. Let's see. Okay, right. Uh, and at this point, we're fully swapped. So the generator uh, was an electrical issue. I swapped the battery switch from number one over to number two, and it and it cranked right up. Okay. So number one, while it was sitting here the last few weeks, must have gotten kind of low. Doesn't mean it's a problem. It just means it needs to be charged. Because okay. that remember this this new stuff is just a computer. It needs a certain amount of voltage to run the ignition system. Okay. And plugging it in and then short power is yep. going to do it. That's it. That's what's going to keep that. Well, it's not going to do it in a short time. But so that's been plugged in for five weeks. But it, ha it wasn't on. But it wasn't on. But it wasn't okay. on. Got yeah. it. Got yeah. it. That breaker wasn't up, and the charger wasn't on. Okay. And then, uh, let's see here. So, and then short, the uh, charger you have on right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. I run it all the time. Okay, that was my next The only time I shut it off is when I'm, I'm transferring from generator to short power or vice versa. Okay. All right, so just to understand the concept here, okay, that the, the generator is basically taking everything that is on the boat and we're about ready to disconnect short power, so it's going to give us the freedom to leave. Correct. Panel is the battery stuff. This is not the generator. This is the generator. Part. Yep, and, but this side... You can... you. When you come back to the dock, all right, so Let's we, say just, we're, yeah, we we're, just pulled in. We just pulled in, right? We're, we're about to put the, the boat up on the lift for good. We'll shut off all these. All the 12 volt stuff is off, stuff that runs off batteries. Then we're gonna come here. We're gonna shut off all this stuff. 
And when you do that, the generator picks up an RPM. You'll hear it. It'll kind of surge upward because the load's off. That's right. So then we'll do that. Turn your breakers off. Slide this one. You're hooked up to shore power one. Flip it. Give the battery charger a few seconds to totally power down. Turn it back on. Turn your fridges on so they're nice and cold all the time. That's it. Um, for this boat, I definitely recommend you get a dehumidifier off Amazon, one of those standalone dehumidifiers for like 70 bucks. You can leave your head outlet on, which is in there, set the dehumidifier up on the counter with the little clear plastic drain hose that right goes right the into sink. the sink, and it'll keep it fresh in here. Because okay. you can't run the AC when it's on the lift. Got it. Because it uses uh, raw water. Okay. All right. So let's do this again. Off, 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 off. 12 volts off. Swap the generator. Transfer. Battery charger on. And then everything on. Slowly. Well, we don't have to turn the fridges on on the 12 volt side because we have them running on the 120 side, right? Uh, stereo. That's it. You're free and clear.